All right, so we're on fourth tree here. Sarge sitting here with the Omni. We're going to go down here, a piece of property I trapped last year. Out here with the new Dakota light, see what it does tonight. Getting him a nice drink. I'm, I'm Matt Dawson. All right, folks, Chris Heater here with HHHC Outdoors. All right, boys, he finally got treed. You ready? Yep. Come on. On yak squaller. I've already squalled two boars out of the tree. It's Alright, here's the only. Alright, so up here tonight with DJ, Andrew behind the camera, we got Sarge and Sue. Gonna make a cut real quick. See if we can't get a coon. You guys ready? Yep. Cut him. Okay. Alright folks. Chris Heater here with Team HHHC Outdoors. Hey, there's one coon sitting. That's where we just come up. There's, we got dog treed. I don't know, there's four foot high wall right there. Derek's coming up that way. Me and Preston, we just uh, brought her on up through there. You wanna talk about steep? Welcome to West Virginia, folks. All right, folks, we got both coons sitting. One of them is right there. We get oh, wow. back here where I can see. Hey, right there's one coon sitting. You know, my dog. Derek's dog split treat. And they're on it. My female and his male dog bow. And we got my buddy's dog over here. Preston. The blue ball and rebel. Champion Blue Ball and Rebel. Right there. He was treated on that tree that leans right there. And it goes right into that little maple. And then right there sits the coon. Right there he is. And we're, I don't know, maybe 30 yards apart. Hey Rebel, there's the other dog. They might be 30 yards. Both of them got the coon sitting, boys. What do you think, Preston? Good deal, Pickle. Good deal. Good boy, Rebel. You got Bo and May. Getting ready to cut them loose. It's about 20 after one. Let's see what they do here. Got them. Chris Heater with Team HHHC Outdoors. Uh, we've got May and we've got a seven month old uh, puppy here. We're gonna try and get him started. The weather's turning good, so let's turn him loose, see what happens. All right, folks, there's Miss May. 
And there's old long-legged Mr. Bow. We're going to turn these hounds loose and see if we can put something up a tree. You ready, Derek? Yep. Cut him. Bo got to pee. I think my life's just about dead. Nope. I'm glad you had him charged the house. Okay, folks, drop the dogs. They come around this ridge, drove the side-by-side -side up to them within 150. Hammered tree. We're going to see if they got anything. Just stick right with us. Okay, walked in here to them. Seen the coon on the way in. Right there he sits. Walker power, old buddy, Walker power. Can you see it any better up there? better picture of him. The old boy's just laying there. Just hanging out. Good thing it ain't kill season. Good dogs. Hang on, I want to get some video. Okay, folks, we just come from those two coons. There was two of them sitting. Uh, come walk back out this ridge and Derek's dog threw his head in the air and went crazy on the chain. So we went ahead and cut them down through there. They're, they struck another track and they're moving on. So stay tuned and we will see you at the tree. All right, folks, there's Miss May. She got stuck by herself here. She got stuck on a high wall, come down here in this bottom. And as you can tell, it is thicker than hair on a dog's back. It took me 45 minutes to get 300 yards. That's okay, though. Because right there is the coon. She got him sitting, boys. She had to find that one. She had to work for it. That's a good girl. Good girl. All right, I'm going to get her out of here. I got a long walk through a bunch of thick stuff. So we'll see you all at the next one. Okay, folks. 
HHHC here, Chris Hader, uh, hunting some puppies. Got a feeder here. I just filled that feeder up a couple days ago. It's already down to about half. Uh, got a seven month old uh, puppy. Her name's Echo, and I've got May out here on the ground. So we'll see. Uh, right there, one of them open. That was Echo. May and Echo's both open. Well, we'll see where the track takes us. Hopefully we can get a coon up a tree, folks. Stay tuned. Okay, folks. Showing her treed. I lost communication with May. I don't know why other than maybe a den tree. She's up inside of it. But they only went up here about 150 yards. So wouldn't surprise me if it was a den. There's a couple big trees up in here. But really proud of this seven-month-old female pup here. I don't believe she's going to be much to train at all. This is only about the third time she's been in the woods. And she's went step for step. And she's hammering trees up here. So, oh, oh. we'll go in here and see what they got. As long as I can keep fanning. Oh my God. Old dad's new for a new pair of boots. These are getting bad. Huh. Let's go in here and see what they got, folks. Stay with us. All right, folks, drop number two. Dogs are kind of getting out of sight here. About 400 yards. That's a seven-month-old puppy there with her. They're doing good, though. Let them run. I'll close distance up here. I'm gonna hear them a little bit. Maybe we can hear them even over the top, so. I better start closing in on them. Stay tuned here. Now, here we got Bo, and Echo, and Kate. And we're gonna go turn them loose, and we're probably gonna get our asses wet. Showing a treat up there, two, two hundred and some, two twenty, ish. Uh, we'll go up there and check it out. See what, uh, see if she got anything. I think the other dogs moved on, so we're we're trying to fix one from slick train. So we'll see what see what we can do up here. Stay tuned. Chris Heater here with HHHC Outdoors. We got, uh, I got a couple new dogs here I'm gonna try out. Uh, this is Harry J. He's a PKC Silver Champion and a uh, and a Night Champion. He's five years old. He made Night Champion at 13 months old. Uh, a guy that I know out in Missouri made him a Night Champion and sold him. Uh, so we're gonna. Take him loose down here. I got I got some feeders out. I'm gonna turn him loose on some feeders here first and see see what he does and how he does and how he opens and trees and locates and everything. So stay tuned and we'll see you at the tree. Okay. All right, folks. Chris Heater here with Team HHHC Outdoors. Uh, got Harry out on the ground right now again. He's uh, he struck in, he's, I don't know, probably 250, 300 yards. He's, he's not opening a whole lot. Uh, I don't know, it's probably a cold track. It's 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning now. Full moon, tracks are going to be long. <clears throat> so just stay tuned and we'll see you at the tree. <laughs> 